what's it like to spend a couple of nights deep in the deserts of the Middle East? Sharkia Sands, also known as Wahiba Sands, named after the Bani Wahiba tribe, offers a unique glamping experience, surrounded by nothing but miles and miles of golden sand dunes in Oman. I'm Rahul Jaktiani, and you're watching Miles to Go. Preview. Your attention, please. show you an authentic yet luxurious experience right in the middle of the Omani Desert. Follow me. Oman is often referred to as the jewel of the Middle East with its famed coastline, gorgeous beaches, numerous river valleys and of course the endless desert. A mere three hours from its capital city Muscat is a thousand nights camp a quintessential Middle Eastern glamping affair deep in the middle of the desert. My initiation to the Omani Desert, though, wasn't complete without a humble dose of tune bashing. And Karim, my guide from Zahara Tours Oman, ensured that getting to the property was an experience by itself, as he kicked up a mini sandstorm of his own. Once there, I was impressed with the authentically Omani design of the property, complete with all the amenities one would need for a comfortable stay. Inspired by Omani forts, the main area houses the lounge as well as the restaurant. There are various tents scattered across the property that range from the standard shake tent to the more upscale Amir luxury tent where I stayed. Decorative and colorful. These traditional dwellings are airy and spacious with four-poster wooden beds and other modern amenities. While the patterned roof of the tent is made from sheep and goat's wool. I love that the property also has a swimming pool, the only desert camp in Oman to offer one, which gives it a definite edge over others. This oasis is also a way to cool off, especially if you've been out and about under the harsh sun. Living your Lawrence of Arabia moment of riding around the desert on a camel's back. Nights are a lot cooler and one can enjoy an evening under the stars, sitting by a bonfire, sipping on freshly brewed Omani coffee and regaled by the entertaining stories of Bedouins or desert nomads. Thousand Nights Camp is located deep in the desert, so there's no cell phone signal and hence a couple of days spent here are ideal for those looking for a digital detox. But you do have the option to go on a day trip as well with a local guide to the surrounding areas that include the natural cave pools of Wadi Bani Khalid, where you can swim in aqua blue waters and in my opinion were another highlight of a trip to Oman. So how much does this cost, how long should one stay here and finally how does one even get here? It's hard to get here on your own, you would need a local tour guide with a 4x4 vehicle and the expertise and experience of driving in the desert and Zahara Tours Oman offers fantastic packages that include a one or two night stay at Thousand Nights Camp. I'd say spend at least a night and more than two nights are perhaps one too many. The standard shake tent is available at 249 US dollars a night on a half board double occupancy basis, while the prices are a notch higher at $318 a night during peak season between Christmas Eve and New Year. On the other hand, the Amir luxury tent costs 705 US dollars per night on a half board double occupancy basis and during peak season the prices shoot up to $913 per night. These prices include a ride from Musket to Thousand Nights Camp with a chauffeur come guide. However, you could choose to book the property on your own as well and just hire Zahara Tourist Services separately for $460 per night which would include the cost of the chauffeur come guide's overnight stay. But in my opinion, 
it's not quite worth the hassle and I just booked the entire package with Zahara Tours Oman for a seamless experience. This is indeed the kind of trip one would treasure as the desert here tells a different story every time one ventures into it.